My hand is feeling better. Yay! I can do this. I found out really sad news about ACDC. And it's that Malcolm Young is suffering from dementia, and that's why he's not part of the band anymore. And that's really sad. I knew he left because of health reasons, but I didn't know why. Yeah, same. I was like, I, I knew that they were like, oh, well, he's in the hospital and he's he's doing better and all that. So I was like, oh, okay, is it like a, does he have like lung cancer? Does he like have some sort of liver disease? No, he's suffering from dementia and that's, that's tough to handle. I mean, they're not so old and so it's like, it's weird that it's hit him at such like a young age. But, yeah, but still, a little messed up. We're still watching, uh, like Cutthroat Kitchen and uh, guys. Grocery games. <laughs> grocery games. Since we haven't had cable, we just haven't seen these shows, and the only time that we do get to watch them is when we're in Kitchener. So <laughs> pretty much whenever we're at my parents' house. Yeah, that's the that's only it. time. It's like we'll stay up later than everyone else. And I think they're like we're, they think we're downstairs like talking or whatever. No, no we're, we're watching, watching this. The we're watching the Food Network, and we're like, oh, okay, I wonder we'll, what's gonna happen. We'll stay up till like midnight or one o'clock just because we're watching the Food Network. It's so sad, but true. Because <laughs> I honestly, if this that's the one channel, okay, this and the Discovery Network yeah. are the two channels that I miss having. Because yeah. I'd watch both of those. Because I like me some science and I like me some food. We're seeing half of these commercials and I'm like, oh, that'd be a cool show. Or, oh, that's a neat show too. Like, look at this. The kids cooking thing. That looks so cool. That looks so neat. I totally watch that. I feel like we should be able to find that somewhere. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll find that somewhere. My hand. Woo! Yay. Like this, I could not ever do a couple days ago. Still, my middle finger's a little bit messed up, but I can at least do this. Still watching. Should we talk about the Sam Pepper thing? If you want to. I don't know. It's not worth talking about because he's... Not worth it. He's not worth it. He's just... He's lower than scum. Especially now hearing all the backlash against him and seeing like half of his videos. We didn't actually watch them. We saw clips of them. It blows my mind that people like him have been making a living off YouTube by doing that kind of thing. And I feel bad for all these girls who are now going to come forward because unfortunately a large majority of people are going to be saying, oh, they're just doing this for attention now. They're just doing it because they think they can get money out of him, which in most cases is not true. It's because they were scared. They didn't want to deal with the backlash themselves. They didn't want to have to deal with lawyers, recalling the events to police, and the backlash that it unfortunately would bring to them because he is, you know, internet famous. And I feel bad for those girls, but they just have to be strong because they have to get their story out there as embarrassed as they may feel, which they should not, absolutely should not feel embarrassed. They need to get their stories out there to help prevent it, not only from him doing it again, but to other women. And so that, you know, if it happens to other women with different guys or whatever, then they have the strength to come forward too. And they know that you can do it and yeah, it might suck for a little bit, but in the long run, it's a good decision to make. It's just so maddening this stuff still happens. It's ridiculous. At this day and age that stuff like this still ends up happening. Like you'd still think that this was something that happened 50 years ago. This is the stuff that this is normal for 50 years ago. But no, it's like no one's learned anything and no one's realizing that like this is wrong. It's just so frustrating to see that so many people are, are still so being victimized like this. Yeah. And it's just terrible. Yeah. And the fact that there's so many stigmas around it and we just as people have to get past these stigmas and we have to try to stop it from happening and support those who have had it happen to them. Just support them and know that they did nothing wrong. The moment no came out of your mouth, that was it. Should have stopped. Guy, girl, no matter what it was, whether it was just a kiss or whether it was rape, a touch, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you didn't consent to it, you are the victim. Maybe like two weeks ago, there was a thread on Reddit that was like serious Ask Reddit question. Males of Reddit, have you ever been raped and what happened? 
a surprising amount of guys were like, yeah, this happened to me. I was too drunk to fight back, or I was drugged, or or I was asleep while it was happening. And then all of a sudden, I kind of woke up, and there was a condom on me, and she was walking out the door. That really is shockingly terrible that that ends up happening to guys. And if, if you don't know what we're talking about... We're not going to talk about it here, but just look up Sam Pepper. Actually, look up the Lacey Green. Look up Lacey Green's letter to Sam Pepper and then her video to him. Um, that way he gets no views. Exactly. Because we, we <laughs> 100% do not want to send any of you to his channel because we do not want him to get the views at all. He does not deserve the attention. Scumbag. So, so we're watching and this still. I didn't want to go back and let them <laughs> Everyone is a chef on this show, so they're like, thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Chef. Chef this. Chef that. <laughs> Thanks, chef. Chef. For who's on? Wrong show. That's wrong show. Um, That's Iron Chef. That's Iron Chef. That's Iron Chef. Yeah. And this time, the person that I wanted to win won, so that made me happy. Unlike uh, Cutthroat Kitchen. Cutthroat Kitchen makes me mad every time, because... Nobody that I've wanted to win wins. It's okay, chef. I'm not a chef. When you make food, you're a chef. I'm a cook. I'm not classically trained as a chef. Uh, half the people on this show aren't classically trained. One is a food blogger and cookbook writer. Well, I mean, you have to know a little something about food to do that. Oh, uh, you're a food blogger. I am a food blogger. <laughs> Never mind that. Yeah. Which, if you haven't ever seen that yet, go to schrodingerscraft.blogspot.com. Blam. I'll show you how to make bechamel sauce and eggplant parmesan. Yeah, what's your next one going to be? It was supposed to be the pumpkin tarts, but I forgot to take pictures through the oh. entire process. So. Why don't you do the salmon? I'll do the salmon. Because we got salmon. Just for you, new subscriber. Hi. I'll <laughs> make the salmon for you. There you go. And you can post to it and stuff and take pictures of it. Mm-hmm. It'll be all fun. It'll be all instructional and educational. Instructionally educational. Instructational. Yes. Do you think this guy will win? $20,000. You think he's fast enough? I don't think he's fast enough. I, I think he's just going to get like 16. 14 or 16. Just so he'll 16. miss like. I'm okay with 14 or $16,000. Someone's like, hey, can you just run around this grocery store and pick up some things? I'd be like, yes. Thank you for your $16,000. <laughs> this will be a down payment on my house one day. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's one of the things that annoys me about this is that like half the people. Are like running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Don't you kind of realize that like there's an order to the grocery store and where things should be? Why would olive oil be with olives? Somebody thought that earlier today. Really? Olive oil with olives? Olive oil is clearly an oil, so it's gonna be with the oil. Have you never gone grocery shopping? Apparently not. So learn yo grocery stores. <laughs> People. That's the lesson of the day. That's the lesson of the day. Learn your grocery store.